I'm Donna Ruco. Welcome back to The List. Goodness, it's hot, there's another dust storm coming, and I missed my light rail stop this morning. Oh, Phoenix is stressful. Luckily, Brian McElhatton's got the solution. It's one of the three top stories we're ranting about around the valley. At number one, we're with Ben and Matt at 102.5 KNIX to talk about something very important. Apparently, Phoenix, one of the most stressed out cities in the country, number 22. Uh, we've got long commutes. We've got property crime. I'm not stressed at all. I think this is a, one of the least stressful cities in the world. I've lived in cities where you had to parallel park to go to the grocery store. Whenever you have a place like Old Town, where people are regularly drinking in the middle of the day, there are no problems here. Well, if you're feeling stressed out, you could always uh, get diagnosed with PTSD. SD and get some medical marijuana for that because starting January 1st, it's going to be legal. Oh, wait, Ready? did I say there was no stress? There's a lot there's of stress. A, oh, now, yeah. now there's a lot of stress. At number two, I bet you never thought you'd see this. Mexico donating books to the United States. To be fair, it's the Mexican government sending Spanish language textbooks to inmates in U.S. prisons to help with their education in cell block three. Apparently, Mexican nationals make up the majority of foreign prisoners in the U.S. system. So the country with nearly 50% poverty is donating books to the richest country in the world? Oh, the irony. Gracias, Mexico. At number three, GMA picked its semi-finalists for their five alarm firefighter challenge, but sadly, superstition fire and medical wasn't one of them. That doesn't mean we can't appreciate their video. Tacoma, Washington and Las Vegas fire and rescue made the cut instead. You can vote for your favorites on GMA's website. Now you're caught up in Pluton around the valley, I'm Brian McElhatton.